get up in front of strangers and just start bragging my ass off. But guess what? What? Do it. I just bought a pair of $6,000 speakers. Yeah. Woo! Fucking dropped that money. Yeah. Surround sound, very small, very popular with old whites. They're called hearing aids. Yeah, I've got hearing aids now, guys. The speakers for real life. Yeah. Living my life in stereo now, guys. Woo! Hell yeah, I had to. Yeah, hearing is going. I had to buy the, uh, the speakers for my ears. Um, I didn't have $6,000 just laying around, though, so I had to take out a loan to buy these things. It's like a second car payment every month, which leads me to believe there must be such thing as hearing aid repo men, right? <laughs> like, if I miss a payment, who's coming to pick these things up? Probably a guy named Ron <laughs> with a dog the bounty hunter haircut. He doesn't have to be sneaky. I will not hear him coming. <laughs> That's a good job. That's an easy job. Where is the reality show for that? They call it Ron, the Boomer Hunter. <laughs> Just a guy down in Sarasota waiting for your grandma to fall asleep because she missed a miracle ear payment. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... 44 years old and this is the best time to lose your hearing because when I start to feel a little bit old all I have to do is go to the hearing aid store I feel like a tween again all right I'm the youngest person they've ever seen in there all right they think I'm Timothy Chalamet <laughs> Mostly because I keep saying, hello ladies, I'm Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> and they can't hear me, they think it's all good fun, they don't know what's going on. All the ladies want to give me the worthers out of their purses. It's, it's a very sexual candy. It's a very sexual candy. I uh, live in uh, Phoenix, Arizona right now, yeah. It's a shithole, right, I get it. Don't clap, one person almost clapped, they're like, well, thought better about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, everybody drives huge trucks out there. I was just recently cut off by a guy in a huge Ford F-150, and all it said on the back window of his truck, across the entire back window, it said, eat ass. <laughs> yeah. That's the message that guy wants to put out to the world every day. Eat ass. You get it, yeah. And I'm going to tell you, I get it too. I get it too because I was telling a friend this. He goes, that guy sounds like a dick. And I'm like, no. That guy is a romantic. Right? Because he loves a very particular form of lovemaking so much, he doesn't care whose day he ruins. He happens to be driving with a child who just learned to read, okay? It's going to be a lot of questions in that car. That kid doesn't even know where babies come from yet. Now he has to learn to eat ass? Well, Junior. When a man loves a woman very much, or a man loves another man, or a woman loves another woman very much, and they're on Pornhub. <laughs> that is something that happens. I, uh, yeah, I, I got into a bit of a road rage recently. And there was a guy in a, uh, a Tesla, and he decided to park in the middle of the street. Like, that was a parking spot. So I couldn't get around him, so I honked. It was a nice honk. It was like a boop, boop. You know? <laughs> Just like an excuse me. It wasn't like laying on the horn or anything. But he flew out of his Tesla like I had just called Elon Musk an asshole, right? He came out level 10, just cocaine personified. Just like, go on, motherfucker, let's go. I was like, oh. I'm going to show this electric driving motherfucker, right? Right? I'm going to show him what's up. And I locked my door. Because <laughs> he can't hit me if he can't get me. Just a motto I live by. Put it on my tombstone. Can't hit me if he can't get me. 
This actually enraged him so much that he punched my driver's side window. I don't know if there's any alpha males in the audience here tonight. <laughs> Probably not. Mostly just Danny. <laughs> but Danny, if you're trying to lure a guy who looks like me out of my powder blue Honda Civic, <laughs> don't punch my window, okay? I don't look like a guy who opens my door to threats. Right? I clearly look like a guy who opens my door to baguettes, right? You gotta trick me out of my car, you know? You know, start playing a little Ed Sheeran music. Get the vibe going, right? Yeah. Open a couple of White Claws. Woohoo! Is that mango flavor I see? Yeah. Oh, I'm opening my door. Okay. Instead of doing this, do this. <laughs> you can finally get in that hug. Then you can punch me. I, uh, yeah, love Ed Sheeran music. Uh, <laughs> love Ed Sheeran music. Also love Justin Timberlake music. Anybody else? Oh, yeah. yeah, Justin Timberlake, fucking catchy as hell, right? Don't stop to listen to his lyrics, though. Very bad. He's got a lyric that goes, If I wrote you a symphony, what would you do? And then immediately after goes, if I told you that you were beautiful, what would you do? Hold on, Justin. I want to know what she said to the first question. Because that seems like a huge leap backwards in effort. Right? Did she say, ooh, a symphony, I'd marry you. And he goes, holy shit, I just overshot my goal. <laughs> oh. I was just looking for a handy in the parking lot. Uh, what? What do I get if I tell you that you're beautiful? Does that get the handy? Like, can I do it? Yeah, all right. Oh, the chicks that were heckling Mike like me. All right, cool. All right. Thank you. Came in the parking lot later? What if I tell you that you're beautiful? Okay, because you're not bad, I'm going to say, you're a good looking girl, but you already were, uh, okay, I don't know what I'm going with. Guys, I'm going to be honest, I, uh, I, I, I just recently got divorced after 15 years, so I'm trying to go through my slut years right now, and I don't know what I'm doing 90% of the time.